Hello everyone, it's the Hobby Dabbler. Today I want to show you how to make your very own color washes. Uh, or this one's by Adirondack and I think there's some by Delusions as well. Um, these can range anywhere from eight to twelve dollars Canadian a bottle. So they get really pricey, but they're beautiful. When you there, there's nothing like spraying a page and then adding water and letting the colors blend and drip down the page. You can't reproduce it any other way. It, it's just beautiful. But they get really expensive. So I've found a way to make them myself. So these are a few that I've made myself. And it's really simple. You take a spray bottle. You add in some either distilled water Distilled water is probably best, but you can also use filtered water. And then I add in a little bit of French side isopropyl alcohol to keep the bacteria and the mold from growing so that I can let it sit for a long time and I don't have to worry about that. So today I am going to make a yellow color because I don't really have a lot of yellow. So I'm going to take my yellow. And these are Chef Master liquid gel food colors. I got them off of Amazon.ca and I think they were like 25 or 30 dollars for the whole set. So you could make gallons of this. And, and the beautiful part is you can mix your own colors. So if you have a specific color that you need for a project, you don't want to have to go out and try to find the specific color in a spray. You just want to be able to make it and work on your project. Well. This is how you do it. So take your gel and squeeze in quite a bit. I, I like my colors to be really dark. If you want a pastel color, don't add as much. But I want my colors to be really dark. The more colorant that you add, the more saturated, the darker the hue that it's going to be. So now basically you just put it on, put your lid on and give it a good shake until all of the colorant is mixed in so that's not bad and I made this one earlier it's kind of a green color but I want it to be more lime green so I'm gonna add I'm gonna add some yellow to that one as well give that a good shake too You can also use Wilton I think colors. I, I use that for a few of them. Um, these I think are maybe two dollars a piece and they'll last you forever because <laughs> they're huge <laughs> for this project anyway. Okay so I'll move all this so you can see what the sprays look like when they're done. Okay so here's the yellow that I made give that a good spritz so you see it looks just as nice as the real deal in my opinion the uh, and like I said the more you add the darker it is and here's that nice green yeah there we go now that's a nice green and I made a peach one I like the peach peach is a little different and then I made one that's kind of a raspberry color I'd call it so you can see that they're quite saturated because I used quite a bit and if I were to add some water to the page I'll do that now you know spray it down you can make the color move just like just like the real deal you know spread it around let it drip get all those cool effects so if you don't want to spend $12 a bottle, this is definitely a cheaper option and I think that they end up being just as nice. Um, just make sure you make it concentrated enough and you'll be happy unless you want the pastels, which sometimes you want a pastel for a project. They're nice too. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how they look on a page once you make them up and you start to spray them. So here are the ones 
that I made up with a stamp on the page. And they look really lovely, I think. So thanks so much for watching. And I hope you try it out. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Bye.